Okay, so the shower head came in early, which is great because uh, it's going to be way better to put this in before doing floor stuff, I think. Just so I can, I can have the pecs run, I can have everything run and ready before we have to actually deal with floor BS. So it's kind of neat. Uh, I need to get another one of these. Uh, looks like I just wanted to make sure it was the right size. So you have for the for the wand, this sticks out of the wall, right? When you piece of threaded pipe, this will go part way into the tile and just be there. And then they have this. Always, this is kind of interesting. This little flange, the trim for it, has an O-ring on the inside and on this face. So it it's the instructions tell you it just goes on on the wall, and then you just push this up against the wall. It's like, well, what's going to hold it? What's actually going to seal, right? And like, you can use caulk if you want. It's like, no shit. <laughs> you have to use caulk. The only way this would seal, well, yeah. I almost wish that, you know, they don't want threads there. They want it to be a clean look. So I kind of get it. But it's like, even though it has an O-ring, I think we're going to just do uh, some old trusty black RTV, right? Well, So we'll get a tile drill so we have our pipe. Well, we'll just cut it so it's nice and tight. And that way we can... When we stick this on, it'll really be stuck on and waterproof. Um, that's the other thing to, to kind of deal with. So, like for a top, it has this little guy that goes through the pipe. So this will be on the on the wall, right? So the board will have a hole in it. And then this will go where that hole is so that there's a rubber seal at the pipe. And it's so high up, I'm really not too worried about it. But this one will be lower down. And then the lowest part is going to be the bottom of this bar. Where they want you to anchor it right now she wants that on the right side so we'll have controls here somewhere and then that bar over here somewhere uh, wherever it ends up i would like to have a vertical for it so when we find out where that is i'll probably just put a whole nother stud in place that way we can drill that bar into the stud it kind of sucks that it's going to be going through the tile i wonder they don't see they don't you'd think they'd have o-rings on this too then so you're gonna put o-rings on this little goober but you're not gonna put them on this guy but either way when we actually install it permanently we'll get a ton of sealant on here when we put it together with we'll caulk around the outside because this will be the lowest puncture wound in our waterproofing system um, and we just want to make sure that anything running down the wall isn't gonna get behind that now one advantage will be it's gonna be this wall so if something does happen it'll be a little more easily accessible than you know, having to work over the toilet or well you wouldn't put pipes in an exterior wall anyway so yeah and then this guy the bigger one you know, you'll have a hole for this valve right so here's our the, the hot cold and then this little plunger shoots it off to the the hand wand so you can wash your butt easier but this has a big a big rubber lip that when this is installed it sits on that it helps keep that waterproof too so a lot of stuff that waterproofs so we're going to have layers of caulk and all kinds of sealant and it's uh yeah it's going to last a long time all this stuff from signature has a five-year warranty so if the if the bronze stretches off we can complain to them and tear the whole wall apart putting a new one in so we better have a warranty the price we paid i wonder what holds this oh i guess just the handle is what holds that on and there's no it'd be nice if that had no ring too so that it wasn't metal on metal. Or is, huh. or is there something in here that seals? That sticks out. Oh, okay. There's an O-ring in here. So that's got an O-ring. But the top one doesn't. So the bottom one has an O-ring to seal. But the top piece doesn't get an O-ring. So how does the top, how does the top seal? It doesn't. So, but that's why we have this big rubber. Well, no, because the rubber backing keeps things from here. So anything coming down here to this plunger, what's keeping that water from getting through, right? Mm. Come on, guys. It's like they have such good intentions. And then you just have this hole because of this hole that'll let water through. So we'll have to make sure we'll put a shit, shit, snot ton of clear silicone on that uh, when we install it so that it's all goobered up behind here and water can't get through. It's really kind of stupid. You'd think there would be something, but hey, 
<sighs> it is what it is. You get your wallet out and get fucked anyway. Okay, so here's my math. There are a couple small assumptions because if we're off by an eighth of an inch on center, it just doesn't matter. So I'm doing an eighth of an inch for the thin set, quarter inch thickness for the tile at the curb and at the stud. You know, just remove what's going to be added. Found the center should be five and 15 and 3 sixteenths off of this, this wall. So I found that, marked it, and put a line. So it's like, okay, anywhere along it's at an angle, so it'll block it funny. But essentially, you're looking at there's there's going to be center. And like I thought, that stud's in the way. So if we're going to add a stud for the handle, I think the answer will be figure out where this is going to go, right? Figure out where the handle is going to be get the stud for the handle in place. Then I can cut out a 10 inch section of this and I'll put a, go ahead and put a piece of that two by 10 that I bought from this stud all the way across to this one, but it touching on both sides of this as well. Um, and then we can just take this box and bam, and screw it right into that, that two by 10. Now it's got a, a little gauge on the side for depth. And this is supposed to be, uh, I don't know if it's min-max of the finished wall or of this wall, but if there's a 2 by 4 it's going to be, yeah, it has to be the finished one. So that's back there, and it's going to be cut tight. So, that's silly. Yeah, no, by the time there's a half-inch board, oh, I didn't take the half-inch board into account. We have to remath. Well, remathing won't be hard, right? Because we're we're adding if we're adding a half inch to this wall, it'll make it too close this way, by but not by a half inch, right? By half. So if we had added a half inch here, it would have gone in this part of the math, and not the division part. So we're really just a quarter inch this way, which is further into the stud, which actually will put it right on this edge because this is about a quarter inch off. So this edge of the stud is our center line for the valve. Yeah. <sighs> Which will be a pain in the dingus because if we want, yeah, because if we want the, the, this thing, we want this centered, right? So now we need a piece of pipe to go, to be centered on the edge of the stud as well. So that we might be able to get away with notching it and then using the stud. So if I, if I add from the two by 10 up, just add a whole piece, because why not overkill, right? And then we'll just recess, cut out whatever we need to, to make this work. Now this, I got a piece for that. Now let me find it. Okay, so here's that piece. I got two of them. I got one for the uh, handle and one for this. And so this all kind of same deal, right? It's supposed to, should be able to screw it into something so it's nice and nice and rigid and then the pex gets clamped onto the bottom there. Um, yeah, so that's got to be centered and it has to be back far enough that this thing is, is hidden. We don't want this sticking out where the tile is. So maybe we'll do another piece across. That way we just need a two by four. So it's starting to look like maybe I just take this whole stud out and then the worst thing is we're going to have to and maybe use my magnet trick and find all the screws so it doesn't mess this drywall up. Well, that would mess the drywall up because it'd be taking the screws out, but it wouldn't explode it. And then we can just fill the holes in and we can add new screws into the new studs to make sure the drywall is anchored properly. And then she'll have an excuse to change the bedroom color. We were thinking about painting the bedroom a really dark like a nice dark color because we have the blackout curtains um because we just don't need a lot of light in here we want to sleep in here so make the bathroom nice and bright make the bedroom nice and dark maybe that'll work but yeah so i think it's going to be we're going to be happier to pull this stud out but we still need 16 inch centers so we're going to pull this stud and add one here to add one here and then you're going to end up you know that's why i'm looking at this wall like why are these not spaced evenly you know maybe they had something weird going on like this but yeah you hate to do it i want like i kind of do want to leave this here so that if you go to hang like if everyone to hang a picture there you're not gonna have a you don't need to start hanging a picture all right i'm ranting too much i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna think about it while i work on drain stuff 
and got all the foam pre-cut and put in the, uh, the guest room here and we got you know, it's numbered where it goes not that it would be difficult because look at they're all I, mean, I guess those ones here are close to the same size but you know there's not very even spacing and we have a massive amount of uh material left and we had to buy more uh, otherwise they'd be filling the gap with spray foam and i only want to use that uh, minimum amount necessary so maybe those pieces left over we can do some of this wall over here or do the floor like they had to try to keep the noise down um, certainly won't hurt anything and at least it won't soak up water like the other kind did so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do this wall and then it'll be quieter when someone's sleeping and someone else needs a shower so all right well i'm gonna get down there and, and get more of that floor off so we can verify that sure enough there's nothing behind that but at the same time yeah so there's nails there so there's gonna be yeah there's a piece this way that doesn't concern me nearly as much anymore so i'm only gonna cut out enough to get to the get to the pipe this will be this is fine because this wouldn't have anything there if this was one continuous piece anyway so and actually yeah we can already get to the pipe so i think i'm done well let's take a look okay so here's where i peeled her back a little bit just to see in there you can see the the drain for the turlet um you know that doesn't have a trap because you don't want poop sitting in <laughs> but, yeah so we'll have a coupling here cut this out send it that way um and then put that that other piece in i don't know yeah, well, the further down, the better, right? It'll be easier to, to push everything together with it way down there. So it's just going to be a pain in the butt to try to flex three inch and get it to go through those holes. So it'll be fun. I'll probably have to cut more of this ceiling out when the time comes. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the ceiling. <laughs> I hate drywall. I hate it even more when it's on a ceiling. But hopefully we never have to do it again. Yeah, I got the, the right size pipe, extra couplings. I went ahead and got a T instead of a Y. It's uh, two inch, it's a little stubbier, so it's easier to fit. Um, and then we can have this angle go that way. So I think this is gonna be better. I also got 90s. So <clears throat> these are one and a half. This is one and a half. So we'll be able to 90 towards the wall. Um, and then I got a street elbow, and I don't know why, now that I think about it. This, because <laughs> the wall would want to be a normal elbow. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did that, so. Uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. We can use, oh, I remember why. Because we have the the two inch, no, but we're not doing two inch anymore. So we don't need that, that, or that. We're going to do one and a half. Why the hell did I buy a street elbow? So, do I have a one and a half coupling? I don't want to have to go back to the store. I'm tired of it. Yeah. This guy will do. So we'll run... There. Now it's now it's not a straight elbow. <laughs> it's just glue. And we'll tuck this up under the floor so that uh, people won't know unless they really dig in deep. So, all right. That's good. And we got connections for the valve. Is there all thread on I thought they'd be sweat fittings but they're not so sits so this way yep though this one goes to the wand this one goes to the top one of these is hot and cold and then we'll that's got to be finished material height so we'll just put it as far in the wall as we can and it's gonna be fine so but we've got the kids got a doctor's appointment today which eats into a ton of this time but it's important so we can take him in at like 9.50, get him to daycare, come on back and work on some stuff. Um, in a little bit of time now, what I might do is, uh, since he's being pretty complacent, we determine where we want this stuff to be. So maybe we'll get this stud cut in at least dry fit and then start marking out where I want to cut out for the 2x10 this way and a 2x4 that way. And actually, eh, what I'll do is that other... Yeah, this one. So there's going to be two of these, right? One for the spout for the wand. And I'm thinking I just make that centered on the valve, like here, right? So be like valve thing, wand thing, either that or bolt. 
don't think I want it below it. I think we want it out of the way and kind of near it so that it has the most reach. We don't want it over here crossing everything. So maybe it'll be, it's going to be valve and then centered between the valve and the glass is going to be our stack. And then, uh, so maybe once I have the stuff in place, I'll kind of hold it up and see what makes sense for this. Because I don't want it to look weird and be too crowded either. Well, no, no drain work today. I made an oops. So, but this is, this fits the drain, right? So we'll have this in line. Poop and stuff goes that way. So shower water needs to go that way. This will square it up so we can get a hole through that joist. And then somehow we need to tee off vent and we need to get the trap in place. So I think, I hate to loop it around like that, but it might be the way I'm going to have to do it. Because you want, well, yeah. Oh, I don't have to, I could do it like this. 90 the vent, and then figure out a way to loop that back around. Because the other thing we're going to run into, right? So all this other stuff fits. It's just this and the couplings I screwed up. And I don't want to cut that drain line and find out there's a whole bunch of nasty stuff in there. Uh, but going back off that center, right? We want the drain in the center too. So you look at the edge of that stud and then... So we kind of got lucky in that the joist isn't exactly in the center. So it's offset just enough that I think, you know, there's that stud where it's going to be the middle. So right about there, roughly there, and it's hitting that taper, right? So we'll have to notch this at the top just a little bit, and then we'll want our drain stuff you know, further down and then coming out. So if we do them down here, we'll have plenty to, yeah. So if we do it up there, it'll be it'll just be easier. I wonder if I should get a T instead of a Y. I wonder. Because all, all you need is to make sure that the uh, the top of the vent is higher than your water level can be. Because um, you don't want water blocking it because then it doesn't vent. Where'd my marker go? Womp womp. There it is. It's hiding behind Doritos. <clears throat> so for drain stuff, right, you'll have... Like here's the shower drain and there's the trap right and this will have water in it so this is all water and that keeps stink from coming out and then this because you want it to drain should be on a slight downward right and then your vent line comes off of it and what you what you want to make sure is that that vent is above where water could be if it sits Right, so things get jammed up down here and they start to back up. Well, jammed up somewhere. But bottom line is you don't want, if you have a, a pipe like this, and here's the top, you don't want your vent way down here. Because when water's flowing out, it could also block the vent. And it's not going to let that air escape as the water goes down. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it won't let the air escape when the water goes down if it gets, if this whole thing gets blocked off with water. So you want it up here closer to that elbow. And I think we can make that happen if we have get that marker out of the way. So if we have our trap go along right along the wall, and then we'll get something to anchor it in place. So if this ends up right like that, yeah, it'll have a piece of pipe. It can go pretty. We can get it lower if we need to. Well, we don't want it too low. We want it like that, about where the pipe is. So it'll end up down here. Um, so maybe we get it through here and we do a 90 and then we have that well we don't want the y we don't want water to flow up the vent see that's how they have it angled so we could do that and just angle it upwards so we angle it up then it won't allow water in so we'll have this split and it's a little weird for flow if there was water in it we go this way and back ideally we'd want it like this and angled up and then maybe we loop it whoop, because we have to get all the way over here anyway so we get it like here do a 45 so it goes this way and then a 90 and then out so yeah so we have a plan in place for this stuff uh once we have the right parts to join this together which i'm not going to bother going to the store now because it's we're already wasting time 
Uh, what I'll do is if I go to the store on the way to work, that'll save me 20 minutes of driving right there that I could be doing other stuff. So you can see I've already been tearing into that ceiling. I'll tear into it more so I can see everything. Um, then maybe I'll just do some small stuff to eat up time. I'll pre-cut these panels maybe and I'll number them and then get them out of the way. Uh, I got to do small stuff like go get my smaller desk and cut off this. You know, I can square this thing up over here. There's, there's plenty of stuff to do. It would just be nice. I really want to get that drain going. I want to figure out what to do with that stud. Uh, I got I think the more I think about it, I'm going to cut for a two by 10. I'm going to cut for a two by four. I'm going to add two studs to the wall. And then it's just going to be, it's just going to be better like that. I think. So, yeah, so maybe I can do some of that today, but yeah, time to get at it.